Hi everybody and welcome to the Fruit Practice. Today I'm going to spend a little bit of time just talking about speed of breathing and what types of breath we need for different phrases. So let's go check it out. <laughs> Okay, so we all know we have to take a breath in, uh, but we don't always think about how much air we actually need and how important that is. We also don't think to breathe appropriate to the phrase we're about to play. So this has got two kind of sides to the coin. On the one hand, sometimes we need very little air and we have a lot of rest be beforehand and we tend to breathe almost too much for that phrase even though you know you can't breathe too much sometimes you actually can and I personally am a kind of person I actually sometimes especially when I'm nervous I breathe too much and this results in me actually feeling kind of almost out of breath and I feel like I kind of need to get rid of air and I do this I sometimes especially when I'm um, playing quite loud sections I actually kind of breathe out a lot of air through my nose to get rid of get rid of uh, oxygen hyperventilation is contrary to popular belief, it's actually getting too much oxygen, which makes you dizzy. Um, which is why when you're hyperventilating, you're actually breathing into a brown bag, which is basically just, you know, replacing the carbon dioxide in your, in your body. So you can actually breathe too much. So that's the one side of the coin. On the other hand, there are times where we need to take massive breaths and we have a split second. We really have to do what I like to call snapping in air. Sometimes you know, we don't even have enough time to do this properly and we have to make a plan earlier on. And this is what I, you know, kind of use the analogy of imagining uh, you're kind of filling up a tank the whole time and you've got to keep that tank sort of quite full. So as your tank is going down early on in your piece, before you kind of reach the point where you know you're going to hit a rock bottom, you make sure ksh, 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 that tank is always, you know, to the brim full. One of the nicest ways to practice this, and I think this is the problem, is we don't actually practice this enough. Um, there is a wonderful exercise in the graph book checkup, for those of you who know it, I've referred to it before, but ultimately we can kind of make up our own exercises, which is exactly what I'm going to do now. Okay, so let's first think about an appropriate amount of air that we need. We're just going to play a note on four counts, whatever counts you like. I'm going to kind of beat my foot so you can hear it, hopefully. Um, and we're going to experiment with different, you know, volumes of air for that. So, first we're going to take a really big breath. And you're going to feel, whew, I've got lots of air left. So now I'm going to take a slightly less, you know, big breath. And I still feel I got a little bit of air left, so I'm still doing pretty good. Now I'm going to take even less than that. Now I'm starting to feel like I still have some air, but, you know, kind of reaching the end of that. And now I'm going to take basically no breath. And now I got to the end of my breath and I felt, whew, okay, really needed more air there. So this is the beginning. We're just experimenting, you know, feeling the different volumes of air that we have in our lungs. Now, we're going to increase this by taking, so we're going to take that second breath, which was a medium breath, and we're going to hold the note until we have no air left. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a very quick breath, and as quickly as we can, we're going to carry on playing. So... Great. Now what I did there, I didn't take a kind of a breath, even though it's very tempting to kind of think. <laughs> um, and there are going to be some times when we really, really, really cannot do any other thing. But for the most part, we can always still think of our ho. So we're going to be thinking not a, <gasps> sorry, we're going to be thinking not a, but a. <gasps> <gasps> it's like getting a fright. You never get a fright and go. <gasps> Unless you're, you know, I don't know, Barbie or something. No, you always go, oh my word. And this is actually the, the body's most effective way to get air in really quickly. Is it open up here and just, 
So you're going to want to practice doing this. You're practicing going. I know, it probably looks and sounds a bit ridiculous, but it's a bit useful. Now we're going to practice playing a phrase, improvising, doing whatever, and just practicing taking that kind of a breath. So we're going to do. should feel like is that filling it up filling refilling or refilling 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 so we go out we go out and refill and down 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 and refill and refilling that refilling feeling i'm oh, sorry i've said that a lot of times but it is that feeling of tanking up the whole time tanking up tanking up tanking up this is something it actually i'm not joking when i say this and i think i've said a lot of things have changed my life and changed my playing but these this is one of the points where i was like wow this really changed the way that I thought about playing. Thinking about number one, actually practicing this, and number two, doing this in pieces. And there's some very kind of famous examples. Prokofiev, fourth movement, you know, before that horrible section we all knew, the, you know, and there's, you know, it's there's a lot of da 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 about to play a very very long phrase a very famous example we all know it and that is l'après-midi d'enfant my french is terrible we all know it now i have heard tons of ways to breathe for this and no doubt Nothing is going to work for the same person. In fact, I really I watched an interesting YouTube video the other day, a uh, study, maybe I'll post it below. Basically, uh, these researchers were trying to research how people breathe. And what they discovered was that everybody actually breathes differently. And this is the reason why there are so many different tips for people and why, you know, everything works differently for different people. So you really have to kind of experiment around with what works for you. For me, in, you know, beginning a piece like this, I like to really think of a, quite a slow in-breath and just opening up completely and really opening up and then allowing it to release. Cool. I hope that uh, is a little bit more info on the breathing. Have fun with it. Experiment with it. Try, you know, breathing in different volumes of air and let me know how it goes. Happy practicing, everyone, and see you next time.